Shane Watson here for Party Boxing Promotions. I'm here with Jamie Robinson. How are you? Yeah, nice to meet you. Um, you're out on the 27th, York called Beth McGreen, someone I know you know well. Um, tell me how training camp has gone for fight night and um, what you can expect from your opponent as well. Uh, just waiting for an opponent to be confirmed. Mo's offered me uh, a couple of opponents, but I ain't been in the gym. Well, I've been in the gym, just been inactive, uh, just going through um, a couple of medical issues regarding um, testicular cancer and stuff, which I've just got over. Um, so just in the meantime, I've just been training hard, um, keeping my focus, and then we're just trying to get an opponent, which is someone who's who's going to bring a little bit of test, not just someone who's just going to hit and run and just try and survive for a pay packet. I want people to spend their hard earned money on a prop, coming to watch a proper fight, so I just don't want somebody who stands in the pocket with me. Someone who comes to have a fight, so it's entertaining. So people will leave at the end of the night and they say, oh, he's had a win, that was a proper good fight, I want to go and watch it again. Not someone who say, oh, fucking hell, it was, it was running around the ring and sort of surviving. So he's after a pay packet, I don't want my people to think like that. I want people to say, oh, he's come for a real fight and that's it. Um, you speak about the testicular test cancer stuff there. Um, how has that been managing that through training camp and how was it managing it before? Uh, when I found out the news, I just thought, well, wow, like, my life's done, like my dreams, everything like that. So it sort of spurred me on, like give me a second second chance in life at my dream and it's made me focus a lot more on the areas where I weren't so focused on before, like the dieting and that, where I used to sort of struggle and be like, oh, fuck it. I like, feel really hard done by that stuff, like finding the weight hard to make and stuff like that. But now because I've experienced a, a proper life struggle, like this, ain't, this is easy. Like coming back to this, I'm enjoying a diet and I'm enjoying, I'm literally living my dream again. I fell in love back in boxing. I've got, I'm obsessed with the dream again. Before it was just like, oh, I just want to be on my British title. But now, I've, in in the meantime, in my time off, I've been working on stuff where I wouldn't have worked on before because you're just preparing to get yourself ready for a fight. So <clears throat> I've more improved, I'm relaxing, and uh, yeah, I've done, just just made a lot of improvements in my training and my boxing. Do you say that, so how, so how long did that keep you out of boxing for? Uh, I had my operation in in January. And then I think I was back training in the March, but just just light training and I upped it. And then we started working on stuff around about the April. I thought I was going to box in like June, July when I wanted to box on my show and July the 20th, my birthday. I thought, yeah, dream. I'm going to be back here. And then met a, a little medical issue, which was regarding paperwork and stuff like that. So I had to go back to uh, get all the paperwork for that. And then now I'm set because uh, I've been given my boxing licence back by the by, by British Boxing Board of Control. So looking at September the 27th now. So Suffering so with all those knockbacks and you've come back stronger and better person from surely it must make you so excited to actually just get out there and just yeah. show people that no matter what you what hits you, you can go through it and then come back a better person as well. Yeah, of course. It just... It's, um, it mentally... What don't, make, what don't kill you makes you stronger. Right? So I think like now... I used to be quite nervous and stuff like that before a fight. And like now, I just think like I'm going to be more relaxed. I'm not going to be so more pumped. I'm just going to relax in the situation and I'm, it's going to make me hold together a lot better, better fire. So. And um, your trainer was saying before about how they can't get you out of the gym and even when they want you to have a break, you, you often don't take it. How is that, change, is that? Is that an example of how it's changed you as a person, how you just always want to be in the gym and make yourself a better fighter as well? Yeah, I sort of got a second chance in my of it like so it's, it's become I fell in love with boxing again so it's so much easier and I'm enjoying it I'm enjoying being in the gym and getting the best that I can be and becoming the best version of myself so when I do get to that title I am in I'm, in, I'm the best I can be and what's uh, so I know you said you want to be British champion and stuff but what's your next title fight in mind that you would like to have um, either the southern area I've, I want to fight after this fight of the sixth round just, just to get a ring rust off and then look at the southern area, if not the English, whatever one comes available first. So, can you just tell us how sparring and stuff's gone for this camp as well? Uh, yeah, sparring's been good. Yeah, I've had a spar with G just to get myself back in the click of things, and then um, I've been sparring with Tyler, Tyler Goodjohn, former English champion today. Um, apart from that, I don't really spar a lot because I tend to end up in always in always in a scrap. So, too many gym wars, and that ain't really good for your health. So. And so, when you felt, what made you get into boxing to begin with, and who did you look up to when you came into boxing? Uh, I remember walking down at six years old, um, seeing a Mike Tyson fight on. A geezer called Paul Ingalls fighting. Uh, we used to wear camo shorts, 
and uh, he was just non-stop and I thought, oh, I like that gig, so I want to have a guy at that. But my dad did boxing as well. Yeah, yeah. So like, it was sort of between my dad and that fight what made me want to get involved in it. Um, I know obviously you've been around boxing for quite a while now. Would you say you've had quite a stop-start career since you started? And yeah, uh, so. And you're looking to put it right now? Yeah, just hopefully I get a clear run at things now. There's every, something, something always seems to pop up when things are going right, but I'm glad they they happened and I'm in the position I am now because they've made me the person I am today. So without them little struggles and them little knockbacks, like mentally now I'm in such a frame of mind that I feel I'm unbeatable and unbreakable. So it's all... And now <clears> you've <throat> suffered all these experiences and stuff. So if you think that always helps when you can help other people in the gym as well, like younger fighters coming through and you can say you've been there and you've done worn that t-shirt. Yeah, like I've, I've, I've boxed on TV. I've, I've, I've been at like, I've been on the like the big shows and stuff like that. So I've got experience of that. So when it comes to their time, I can say like, or oh, like, don't worry about this, don't worry about that. Or trying to help them with their weight cuts and like, just trying to pass my knowledge on even like when G's boxing his first fight. Like when you box a journeyman for the first time, all of a sudden you're boxing someone who stands there and he, he, he rides shots. So then you're getting excited because you're still in that amateur frame of mind that you're just hitting this geezer. So you're getting excited because it's so easy to hit. So then it's just about staying disciplined and uh, not getting carried away with the crowd because the crowd go man all. And that's my problem where I've got stuck into fights and I get followed around, followed with the crowd and that's why I'm so fit and that's why I like to stay in the gym because I know what my style is, I'm a crowd pleaser. So, yeah, but just passing that knowledge on to someone like Jaheed, who's a boxer, who's a mover, to not get carried away and just stay, stay disciplined to your own style. And I think hopefully it works out for him and I can pass my knowledge on in, in areas. I mean, thanks for <coughs> the party box information. It's good for you to uh, talk to us about certain experiences of yours. And obviously, we wish you the best of luck in camp until uh, final. And we'll probably catch up with you uh, on fight week anyway. So yeah, cheers. Let me take care. Cheers, cheers mate.